You Sorry. know what, you guys? Um, we gotta move. We gotta keep it moving. Uh, you, you know, like we love cream. to try and uh, we love to try out new segments here on Intentional Talk. And today's new segment is called "The Reason Is." So how this works is I'm going to pick a team that has a chance to make the postseason. And Kevin and Ryan, you have to give me one reason that they might make it. And Kevin, you go first. And we are starting with the Guardians. They are two games back now. So if the Guardians make the postseason, the reason is... Yeah, the reason is, is Jose Ramirez, okay? This is the most underrated player in the big leagues. He sits over there in Cleveland, signed a contract that was very team-friendly, and does everything on the baseball field better than anybody he's playing with. Switch hitter, great energy. They absolutely love him. Tito loves him, hitting 333 over his last month, basically, with eight homers, 24 RBIs, and 288, 14, and 54, but he steals. He's switch it and it's fun the energy this is the man for the guardians jose ramirez yeah hey listen I, they got to score runs and, and he's going to be a big reason why but the reason is they make the playoffs and have any kind of success down the stretch is going to be their starting rotation and more importantly the health of their rotation you know you got tonight starter aaron savali and after him shane bieber he's on the shelf with that forearm strain they're going to need him back but then you go rookies logan allen has been really good after that is tanner B uh, bibby there's gavin williams so you got a lot of inexperience in that rotation you're going to need your horse back you're going to need shane bieber to be healthy in order for the Cleveland uh, Guardians for them to make the make the playoffs so I love the offense but we all know pitching is what's gonna win okay Kevin our next team is the Cincinnati Reds who entered Wednesday three games out of a wild card spot Ooh. and two and a half games out of the division lead if the Reds make the postseason Kev the reason is you ready you see L a UCLA, fight, fight, fight. Yeah, Tori Lavella. Oh, Dave Roberts. All the UCLA Burns that are, Bruins that are out there. Garrett Cole went to UCLA. Uh, Matt McClain is the reason why. Since when he got called up, I just want you to lock in on this. The Reds were 18 and 22 May 15th when he made his debut. Since then, they're 32 and 24. McClain's hitting 302, eight home runs, 30 RBIs in 55 games. Age 23, just just a big stick of dynamite, right? You're looking at this little guy and absolutely knows how to play this game. Great draft pick by the Reds. And, yes, played over there in Jackie Robinson Stadium. I used to watch all the good UCLA players when I was going to LAC Junior College. I wasn't good enough. Ryan, who do you got? Oh, that was kind of electric. And when I think of electric, I think of Ellie Dela Cruz. I mean, you talk about records since oh. somebody showed up. Since she showed up on the scene, 23 and 13 are the Cincinnati Reds. That's including this little six-game losing streak they're on, by the way. He's brought energy. He's brought dynamic, 100 miles across the diamond, stealing bases, 288, 4, and 16 with 17 stolen bases. If he keeps this going and doesn't have a little bit of that regression that sometimes rookies will have, the Cincinnati Reds are going to do some special things. I could not agree more, Demp. All right, let's turn our attention to the Angels. They enter Wednesday at an even 48 and 48. So, Ryan, if they make the postseason, the reason is? Yeah, I'm going to – the reason is they're closer. I mean, Estevez is 21 of 21 in save opportunities. He was an all-star, a 2.13 ERA, uh, case per nine, over 10. This has been a huge reason for them to be able to stay where they are. Listen, you lose Mike Trout, you had a little bit of rough go in your rotation. You're, it's all about Shohei and what he does that night. He's trying to carry the load. So when you have victories in your grasp, you have to shut the door. And he's been doing as good a job as anybody in baseball. Kind of a nice little found gem for, uh, for Phil Nevin at the back end to know that in the ninth inning, he can go, you out there, come on and lock it down. And he's doing just that. Yeah, I'm going to go with Mickey Moniak, okay? This was a former first pick in 2016 at a high school by the Phillies. Well, guess what? At age 25, this game's starting to slow down, and it's slowing down well. He's hitting 336, 11, and 32 in 43 games now, 421 during his nine-game hit streak. And you know what? Starting to play against lefties. We'll never know unless you play against lefties. Let him make the adjustment. Nevin understands how hard this game is, and Nevin understands when a player's locked in, it doesn't matter who's on the mound. Mickey might be the reason to make up for some of Mike Trout's injury time and protection for show hate time. You know, sometimes it takes people a little while to get around to updating their LinkedIn or their Twitter profile, and I, I'm really bad at that too. 
But can we talk about this? Can you see uh, Mickey Moniac's Twitter page? Phillies. <laughs> He's yeah, still got it. his Phillies <laughs> logo. You know what this tells me? He doesn't care about, that's what happened right now. He's shut down all social media. He doesn't care. He's not getting on anything. He's just raking in the big leagues. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. totally. Hashtag never forget. Totally honed yep. in. Phillies. All right, Kevin. First pick. Let's talk about right, the ready? team where you got your start. The Miami Marlins. They enter Wednesday at 53 and 44, which is only good enough for third place in the NL East, but they are a half game out of the wild card. If the Marlins make the postseason, Kevin, the reason is. You know what song I love, Sierra? And what I've never song? played this for you or Ryan. Mr. Wendell. Whoa, whoa. You guys are going, what? Yeah, Joey Wendell. Let me tell you what. I'm about guys that are ball players that love being a big leaguer. This is a big leaguer and plays this game the right way. No batting gloves. Goes up, plays a great shortstop. I saw him play three games at Fenway and they swept the Red Sox. And he was a huge part of this team because you need guys, you need ball players. There's no pizzazz on him. There's no guards, there's no jewelry, there's no batting gloves, there's no wristbands. All he does is play this game and plays it well. Joey Wendell is the heartbeat. He's kind of like Skip Schumacher and John Mabry and Rob Rojas and John Jay. They're staff members. This guy brings it every single day and every team needs a winner. Joey Wendell's a winner. He played with the Rays many years. You know how many games they won. They keep winning 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. So Joey Wendell, <laughs> you're the reason why. Ryan, who do you have? <laughs> Well, don't forget, I, I actually played down there, too. I, I started with the Marlins. They came up, and, and I was a starting really? pitcher. And, and in order for them to win, they're going to need the reigning NL Cy Young you know, Award winner. That Sandy I'm Alcantara, you're going to need him to get him going. And he's got it going over his last four starts. He's got a 2-9-2 ERA, but they need to score a few more runs. But if they can get this guy going, they sent Yuri Perez down. Now, all of a sudden, they need somebody to step up. Will it be the guy who's been their ace for the last few years? The Cy Young Award winner, if he can get it going in the second half and keep it going, the Marlins are going to end up in the postseason playing some October baseball. Kevin, do you know yep. who sings Mr. Wendell? Mr. Wendell. Uh, Kenny sing. Chesney. <laughs> Arrested development. But hey, good stab. It's just know? a guess. Is that wrong? Yeah. No, as I said, it was More a good one. I never said. You're, you can guess. Yeah. Good All job, right. Kevin. Maybe you can get KC to cover DMX. It. DMX. Okay, no, let, you know what? No, just stop. Bone. 